This program deals with extreme weight loss and should only be attempted if you've tried everything else, are sick of lugging around excess flab, and have consulted a physician. What do you need to get your rear in gear? My last 10 pounds, right here. Two pounds here, four pounds here, and four pounds here. Right about there, and a little bit in here. Kelly's an aspiring actress, hoping to slim down and look like a Hollywood starlet. And that's why I need your help. <laughs> oh. Get him up. Desperate to drop pounds and inches before getting professional headshots. You'll be OK. You're strapped in. Kelly will have to stop the late night partying and push her body to new heights. How am I supposed to get down from here? If she wants an award-winning performance in the last 10 pounds boot camp. Oh, my god. I'm desperate to uh, slim down because uh, my whole life I've wanted to be an actor and there's an expectation to be thin. I tried to stop him from talking. I turned myself on. It's unfortunate, but it's never going to go away, so you have to accept that. There you go. For my eating habits, I usually start the day off pretty good. That is a lot of women. <laughs> and then as the day progresses, it starts getting worse and worse. <laughs> My worst parts come from working a late night job at a restaurant. Yeah, 11 o'clock at night, I don't want a salad. I want like a spinach dip or like, just like shrimp and cheese and just anything greasy nachos. We end up going out a lot of nights after work. By the end of the night, you've lost count of how much vodka you've had and then you're eating pizza at like three in the morning. And then you wake up and then you have another greasy breakfast. Just horrible greasy food. <laughs> If I have the afternoon off, I like to uh, go to a coffee shop and get like a mocha <laughs> and then just grab whatever delicious treat they have handy. I absolutely think weight is too important in the entertainment industry. That's as far as we go. <laughs> but generally, if you're wanting to get into it, you have to do what they want. You're gonna go into a casting audition, they're gonna say, we gotta lose 10 pounds. That's it, that's all we got. <laughs> and I'm really ready just to find an agent and have amazing headshots and just look great and feel great and get out there into that world. <laughs> I'm Tommy Euro, a pro football player turned personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. Party time is over for Kelly. Oh my god. They just had that look in their eye like, I'm gonna kick your ass. Hands up. Bust. 39 inches. Finger on your belly button. Waist. 34. 34. Are you shocked? A little. Hips. 43. Is that shock or is that surprise? What is it? A little bit of shock. Up on the scale. Weight, 169 oh. pounds. Oh. Ready to change those numbers? Yes, I am. Put it there. Right answer. All right. Tommy's going to throw it at me really hard, and I'm going to give it my absolute best. We'll be helping Kelly drop at least 10 pounds from her mid-zone before she gets those headshots. I'm gonna find out what's in Kelly's kitchen that's making her pack on those pounds. There's a lot of crap in here. I found bagels, popcorn, chips, sugary oatmeal. All we need is the regular. These guys, one handful, 260 calories. When I went into the fridge, of course, there was alcohol. Oh, hey, there's actually some beer left over. This girl's not drinking any beer or alcohol for the next four weeks. There was also condiments, creamy dressing, ketchup, a condiment, which is completely unnecessary, juice, pure sugar. And this is contributing to her weight gain. And you know what? These smoothies, Kelly grabs these in the morning. She thinks they're good for her, but they're 263 calories and 60 grams of sugar. It's all leading to pounds on her butt. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Tommy. I've been reading up on you. You work in a restaurant. 
which means you're snacking all the time. Then you finish work and you drink. Then you wake up and you have a greasy spoon breakfast. Keep that up, here's what could be possible. That's gaining four oh. pounds a year for the next 10 years. Oh, that's gross. That would put you well over 200 pounds. That's disgusting. Ugh, I don't want to look at it. It's over, it's done. It's no done? More. It's done. You sure? Yes. A lot of it has to do with vanity, absolutely. Like, that's disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, it is. Kelly, we need to find you a target outfit. You gotta stand out. Huh. You have to be comfortable so you can rock it well. Oh. Something sexy, something revealing. Huh. Show off your tall, beautiful self. Happy shopping. Headshots, huh? Yeah. You're supposed to stand out, <laughs> but not like that. Okay. No. Now that is gonna turn some heads. Yeah. How do you feel in it? Um, I feel good, but not very confident since it's really tight. Give me a couple slow turns. Rock it, work it, work it. All right, so this is a medium. We're gonna get a small. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Which means we're gonna have to completely flatten your stomach. Yep. Try to lose this muffin top. <laughs> Tone up through the arms. <laughs> You'll be good to go. All right. We're about to find out what your strengths and those arms <laughs> and weaknesses are. This is my dungeon. Give me the last 10 pounds. Kelly's an aspiring actress who joined boot camp hoping to drop pounds and look hot for some professional headshots. Put it there. After seeing the path she's headed on if she doesn't change her bad habits. Oh, that's gross. We hope she's ready to give us all she's got. This is a medium. We're gonna get a small. Ooh. Kelly, welcome to the drill test. We're about to find out what your strengths and weaknesses are. Got your game face on? Yes. Good, you're gonna need it. Let's go. Bar hops. Come on, let's go. Get them up. Up and over. Kelly's an actress. If she wants to star and roll in my feature, she's gonna have to bring it every day. Push-ups. She's gonna have to last for four weeks. Bend those arms. I should be able to do that stuff a lot more easily. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Stop sticking your butt back. He's tough. Oh, I'm tired already. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I can barely even do a full push-up on my own. But don't tell Tommy that. All the way up, all the way down. It's like the pain brings out the tears almost. Yeah. I'm not upset or anything, it's just like involuntary. I strapped Kelly up to the pole, and it was pretty much a cardio test. Full speed, come on, Kelly. Oh my god. Adds a bit of tension, forces you to get your knees up, you're working your core. How bad do you want it, Kelly? Really bad. Then keep going. We're definitely gonna have to work on her endurance, work on her strength, work on her cardio. It's gonna be a complete overhaul. You've just finished the drill test. It's gonna be worth it to just be able to go out there every day into the world and just feel hot. <laughs> come on in, Kelly. So, you know, I'm a bit of a photographer myself. I love to take pictures. You need some headshots, and I'm gonna help you out. We're gonna show you just how bad your eating habits are, starting with your greasy spoon breakfast. Oh. The bacon, eight slices, 400 calories. 180 of those calories are from fat. Oh. This whole meal, to burn that off, you'd need about two hours of a steady pace on a treadmill. <laughs> Yikes. Well, yeah. go get changed, because I'm gonna show you the late show. Okay. I've got you in your serving attire because this is the kind of junk that you like to eat when you're at work. Yeah. Okay, let's get a shot of you with that seven ouncer. 542 calories, you should be consuming only four ounces. Now let's talk about this garlic cheese toast that you love so much. Yeah. 956 calories, that's almost a thousand calories in cheese oh toast. Oh my God. This would take about three hours of cross country skiing to burn off. Oh God, and I don't like cross country skiing. Come on in Kelly, have a seat. Because this is what you do on Girls Night In. You're sitting back, eating Nanaimo bars, ice cream, and guzzling back the wine. Yes. <laughs> this Nanaimo bar, three layers of trouble. 267 calories, oh. premium ice cream, full of fat. <sighs> One cup, 640 calories. Oh my God. Two hours of skipping to burn it all off. These three things, major problem areas for you yeah. and your eating habits. Mm -hmm. 
Do I have your commitment that you're ready to change these things? 110%. Welcome to your new food plan. What do you think? I'm missing some of my favorite things, but I guess that's the point. Let's talk about everything in detail here. For breakfast, you're gonna be having half a cup of strawberries, one cup of skim or soy milk, and one cup of whole grain cereal. Morning snack, half a grapefruit and one whole grain protein bar. Okay. Okay, so for the protein bar, go for ones that are high in fiber, low in fat, and low in sugar. Okay. For lunch, you're gonna be having a whole wheat tortilla. We've got three ounces of chicken in there. Lettuce, tomato, cucumber, mustard, not mayonnaise, and side salad with balsamic vinaigrette. All right. Afternoon snack, 15 almonds and one serving of non-fat soy yogurt. For dinner, you're gonna have a prawn stir fry. There's eight prawns in there, a cup and a half of vegetables, half cup of buckwheat noodles, two teaspoons of olive oil, and one tablespoon of sesame seeds. Okay, that looks pretty good. It does look pretty yeah. hearty, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to get them to make that for you at the restaurant? <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna have to make it before I go to work and pack it myself. Is that gonna be possible? It's gonna be tough, but I think I'll manage. <laughs> Hello, Kelly. Hello. You're an aspiring actress. Yes. You need some headshots. Yeah. Let's make you shine. All right. Come on. <laughs> Stay low. Kelly's fitness plan is full of exercises that are really going to challenge both her upper body strength and her core. You look like a bad episode of The Nutcracker. <laughs> it's pretty difficult because as soon as you jump forward, the resistance band wants to pull you back. Jump. <laughs> jump. Jump. My arms are my weakest part, so that's going to be what I'm going to have to work on the most. Oh, my god. Now, this is working your entire core. It's working your arms, working your stabilizers through your shoulders. Your core is constantly engaged, so it really burns. <laughs> Raise one foot, two inches off the ball. It's really gonna be worth it, so I really have to push myself and work really hard, because I need to fit into that outfit, <laughs> and I need to look amazing in these headshots. Keep those hips up. I just have to keep powering through Same it. Same thing, you got 15 on each side. Oh my god. Let's go. I don't know if I can do 15. There you go, let's go. Two more, two more. Get those hips off the ground, off the ground, off the ground. Come on, Kelly, go, go. Come on, get it up. We got some work to do. We sure do. We got to work on that core, work yeah. on that endurance, work on that strength. Keep working hard. I will. It's not going to be easy. Thanks. Keep I'm working. really dedicated. Um, I'm just so thankful I have someone there to help me because I wouldn't be able to push myself like that on my own. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. You okay? I think my arms have given up. So tomorrow's my two-week weigh-in, and I'm really nervous. Um, I've been following everything they've given me, the meal plan, the workouts, but I, I feel good. I just don't know how it's going to go, so I'm probably not going to sleep very well tonight. Hello, Kelly. Hello. We're at the halfway mark. Well, let's get you measured up. Stand right here. Hands up. Bust, 37 inches. Ooh. Down two inches. Nice. Happy about that, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> Waist, 32. Down two inches. Nice. Feet together. Hips, 41. Down from 43, that's two inches you've lost. Nice, yeah. Two, two, and two. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 157 pounds. <laughs> Kelly, you've lost 12 pounds in two weeks. Oh my god. 12 pounds, six inches. Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> There's still more work to do, but it's good. There is more work yeah. to do. We've got a plan for you. Okay. Now let's get you in that Target outfit. Okay. I have to do my very best not to get cocky and like, oh, you know, I was so good. And then all of a sudden you're back to like where you weighed before. It's pretty tight. <laughs> Just a couple turns. Looking good, Kel. Thanks. Well, this is the deal. You lost 12 pounds, six inches. Yeah. We still need more. We're just gonna increase the intensity, increase the tempo, get you where you need to be. It's a very tight dress. So it shows off every little pudge or curve or whatever, and there's some more that I need to get rid of. Hello, Kelly. Today's your butt kick. Chocolate-covered peanuts. How did you get that? I have my ways. I don't think it's going to be much cardio for you today, 
but I heard fear is a great motivator. You're afraid of heights, aren't you? A little. Then this should be interesting. Come with me. Starting right there, Kel. Crawling through the tires. Kelly only got caught eating a chocolate-covered peanut. Oh, dear. I ate chocolate-covered peanuts, and he tried to kill me. It's just no. like robbing a bank. You steal the pennies or the bills, you're still going to jail. Knees to chest, knees to chest, knees to chest. And then, to top it off, I made her do a little bit of a climb. All the way to the top of that? All the way to the top. Which doesn't sound too bad unless you're afraid of heights, which, coincidentally, she is. Oh, my god. It's either pull or stop. You stop, you fall. She didn't want to fall. I don't think I can go all the way to the top. It's scary. It's really, really frightening. Like, no way. <sighs> you can do it. Come on. Really freaky. It's all about trusting yourself, <laughs> trusting who you're around, oh pushing God. yourself, getting over your comfort yeah. zones. This is your leading role. Come on, let's go. Oh, I hate you so much right now. She fought. She screamed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She screamed really loud. Come on. Oh. You want an ultimate goal, you gotta go for it. Ah! There you go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Friggin' terrifying. Oh my god, I've never been so scared in my entire life, ever. I hate you. Ah! Good girl. Please let me down now. I need to look like a leading lady and not a stunt woman. Come on, Kel. I hate cross country skiing. Give me the last 10 pounds. Kelly's an aspiring actress, desperate to look hot in a skin-tight dress for her new headshots. Let's get you up on the scale. She got rave reviews of the two-week weigh-in. You've lost 12 pounds. Oh, my God. And after a little slip-up... Chocolate-covered peanuts. I'm sure she'll go to great heights to not cheat again. I hate you so much right now. Welcome to your final challenge. We're going to be doing a 10-kilometer cross-country adventure. This is the culmination of four long weeks. Got your backpack of burden. It's filled with some of your vices. Wine. <laughs> and the ammo bars. Those look good. Let's zip you in and get started. Okay. It was really daunting when he told me we were gonna do 10K. Very hard, endurance-wise, and that's something that Kelly definitely has to work on. Ooh. Keep it going. You're doing great. I hate cross-country skiing. Uh, when you get up the hills and you're working really hard, uh, you're pumping your legs, pumping your arms, full body workout. Yeah, I'm a little stuck at the moment. The hills are definitely the hardest part. They're like never ending sometimes and it's slippery and you got to keep moving quick or you just start falling down. So that was really tough. She surprised me. There's a couple times I thought she was going to stop uh, because it's a lot of jogging motions, especially when you're going up the hills. Come on, Kel. The hills aren't easy. But she's doing better than me right now. I'm feeling pretty good so far. I have a couple days left, and I want to work even harder and just get the best results I possibly can. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a klutz, so uh, going downhill on those like really skinny skis is really easy just to fall over, and then you can't get back up. The thing I hated most about cross-country skiing was the cross-country skiing part. All of it. We're almost there. <laughs> just jog, 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 jog. Congratulations, lady. Woo! <laughs> Thanks. You completed your final challenge. Woo! Getting finally to the end after all of that hard work was an awesome feeling to actually have accomplished that. How's that backpack feel? Uh, it's a little heavy, but I got used to it. I'm just ready to get it off. Let me help you with that. All right. I'm almost at the end. There's only a little bit of time left, and I'm really pumped to try my dress, see how it looks with all these new changes. So we've got two choices. Do you want to go uphill? Or do you want to go downhill? Thinking downhill. Hello, Kelly. Hello. Ready for your final weigh-in? Yes. All right. You know the drill. Standing right there. Hands up. Bust. 36 inches. Down three inches. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Finger in the belly button. Waist, 32. Down two inches. Okay. Feet together. Hips, 40. You've lost three inches off your hips. So that's eight inches in total. Nice. Nice work, Kelly. Okay. Those numbers look pretty good. Yeah. That'll help a headshot, won't it? Yes, it will. All right. Let's get you on the scale. Weight. 100. 
fifty two pounds. Seventeen pounds you've lost. Wow. <laughs> right on. Seventeen pounds, eight inches. Pretty happy? Not bad at all. Is it worth the battle? Absolutely. Good to hear. Let's get you into that dress. All right. I feel pretty good about losing 17 pounds. Um, honestly, I was hoping for a little bit more the second time since I had such a drastic change in the first two weeks, but I guess my body just kind of leveled out, gained a little muscle, and it's all good. 17 pounds is nothing to shake a stick at. Holy beauty queen. <laughs> Looking good, lady. Hot, Thank you. hot, hot. How did it feel when you put that dress on? It felt pretty good. You're like a whole new person. <laughs> Working it. Congratulations, you look great. Thank Paid you. off. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Kelly had a major transformation with a total loss of 17 pounds. Now she's confident and sexy and will wow the casting directors with her hot new headshots. I definitely have a lot more confidence now. I feel great. I look amazing. I'm so happy right now. It's all tight and sexy, but there's no bumps in the wrong places, only bumps in the right places. <laughs> it's now an official way of life for me. <laughs>